All right, so I thought I'd take a few minutes to go over the AO Lithium 100 amp hour smart battery um, and talk a little bit about what are things I look for in lithium batteries for my uh, motorized kayaks. And I've been using several different batteries over the past few years and put many cycles on other manufacturers' batteries. And there's certain things I'm definitely looking for when I'm looking for a battery. So let's go over some basics. The AO Lithium is uh, a 100 amp hour lithium phosphate iron battery on their uh, website they say that it weighs 23 and a half pounds i've been getting on my scale closer to 25 pounds but that's still pretty impressive actually it's about 24 pounds so very close um you know a half pound here and there is not going to make a difference but it's still amazing to me that uh you can have that much power packed into a lightweight battery like this. So it's very lightweight. It uh, easily fits into a Group 27 battery that the Old Town kayaks uh, come standard with, their motorized kayaks. And so most of the marine deep cycle batteries that you see, the trolling motor uh, battery boxes you see, are all this size. So it fits in there really easy. In fact, the battery I've been using for the past year and put over 100 cycles on is the Rebel Bluetooth, and it is actually smaller than that one. So it retails for 780, but I think they're doing like a Black Friday sale, and I think periodically doing specials all the way down to like 620 bucks for it. So it's very cost effective. For me, I'm always looking for those uh, lithium batteries, 100 amp hour batteries below the $800 mark. I feel like if you're paying $800 or more, you're pretty much getting ripped off. There's been a big boom in the number of companies producing these batteries, and there's plenty of competition out there, many of them producing quality batteries, and there's just really no justification for paying $1,000 for a 100 amp hour lithium battery anymore. And if you are, then, and you feel like it's worth it, then kudos to you. Um, some will argue that, oh, well, one company has a 12 year warranty, but honestly, who's gonna use a battery for 12 years? Nobody, so it doesn't matter. Five-year warranty is what you're going to get with this, which is pretty much the industry standard. So one of the things I always look for in all of the lithium batteries I'm using to power my motorized kayaks is they got to have some sort of Bluetooth capability so that I can monitor easily out on the water the health of the battery. Uh, they have their own app. Okay, to connect, you just go to the AO Lithium app right there. This is the battery I've connected to in the past. And then once it completes its device search, you can just click that and it will connect. And here you can see the current charge of my battery. I got off the water yesterday and I used about 24% of the battery. You can also see your current draw right now, it's zero, but if I was in the kayak, I would be able to actually see how much current I am drawing. You can look at uh, the, just the basic parameters of the battery in terms of its construction and voltage protection. And then you can also look at history. I'll have to say that the app is a little bit unreliable. Um, I've used several different batteries with Bluetooth. And uh, this one, I've noticed that, that I have a common problem where I have to go back into the app and clear the cache and storage and then reconnect to the battery, then it works fine. Uh, but my other batteries have had less issues. It might just be that I'm running Android 12 and they haven't caught up with it. You never know. Um, another thing that I look for on all of my uh, lithium batteries I'm using out on the water, because I'm in a marine or aquatic environment, a high moisture environment, um, I'm looking for a sealed battery and that's what I see in my Rebel, it's it's sealed all the way around. You can't get into it. This one doesn't have that. Am I getting water intrusion into my battery uh, storage box? No, but is it a humid environment? Absolutely. Um, as to whether I should be concerned moisture is gonna get up inside here, that's a possibility for sure. And I guess one of the nice things is though, as I can easily pop this lid off and take a look at the components on the inside, although the manufacturer is pretty straightforward about uh, what components are in here. And it's a really tidy build, which I'll show you in just a sec. But if you've watched enough of DIY Solar with Will, his YouTube channel, you pretty much learn to recognize what a good battery, lithium battery is, and what a bad lithium battery is in terms of construction and components. And this one looks really good, but we'll take a look in a second. So I would prefer to see it sealed around here rather than just having a screw top on but that could probably easily be fixed with some silicone tape or some kind of tape around there just to prevent any opportunity for water in there. The connection is really firm, so maybe not 
uh, something to be all that concerned about. Uh, the posts are sort of embedded in here, which I don't really like. It makes it kind of hard to stick on um, not only the battery connector itself, uh, but also my charger. I always keep these just permanently connected so that I can get home and just plug this into my lithium charger. Um, I'm charging this with a 10, 10 amp charger, so it'll charge the full capacity in under 10 hours, if, even if I pulled it all the way down to zero, which I would never do. Uh, but you can also use 25 and 50 if you want to shell out some more money for a faster charger. So I do prefer the post to be sort of up on top, not down embedded in them than that. That's just a nitpick. Um, as far as what it came shipped in, it was very well shipped, lots of foam, great instructions. I thought the instructions were actually some of the best I've seen. There was lots of information on the battery and on the Bluetooth setup. Um, that was all very straightforward. You can use your smartphone, scan that little barcode there, and uh, you'll go right to the app and you can download it um, for iPhone or Android users. No problem. Let's go ahead and pop this thing open real quick since we can actually do that. And one of the things that uh, the website, you know, sort of takes pride in, or at least the manufacturer does, is the fact that uh, this battery is actually repairable. So if you had um, cells go bad, or you wanted to replace the BMS or heat sink for some reason, you could absolutely do so. And it's very easy to do that. All you gotta do is take out these four screws. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop this off and take a look inside the battery and just see what it looks like. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look in here. You can see your connection points to the battery there, these big bus bars, that's fine. Uh, there's your little Bluetooth. Um, there's your BMS buried underneath the heat sink. I can't see the th external uh, sensor, the thermometer, but um, I trust that it's not glued underneath that heat board. Hopefully not. Otherwise, it looks like a very clean build. It's not like filled with foam and gunk. All the connections look really well done. So it's a quality looking battery. So I could probably do more detail on that by tearing the battery apart, but I don't really want to do that because I want to be able to use this battery um, to power my kayak and also other th projects as well. I uh, do astrophotography, so I need something to power my equatorial mount and might need to build some kind of uh, battery bank system for that. That would be handy too during our frequent power outages here that we have. The last thing um, that I have to say about it is that uh, it seems that the Bluetooth is permanently on, so there's no on-off switch. I would prefer to be able to turn off the, the Bluetooth. It draws a very small amount of amps, so it's not really going to affect the battery's performance in the long run, but I love having every amp I can when I get out there. I love getting out there with that 100 amp charge. So I would prefer to see a switch on the top, but switches also provide another opportunity for moisture to get in there. So I do understand not having them. Definitely a quality battery, competitively priced. I've taken it out on my kayak a few times. Um, you know, the challenge for me right now in terms of recommending batteries is that there's a lot of battery companies really struggling with supply chain issues. And so, but if you're needing to get into a battery now, AO Lithium has them in stock right now and to run them the special on them through Black Friday. Uh, but yeah. Good value, lightweight, it's going to work great for powering your kayaks. All right, see you guys next time out on the water or here in the backyard. Bye.